Tell, tell me about, give me your assessment of, uh, of how Bolton have done since, since you've been involved with the Wanderers. Oh, um, no, we started off well when, when we first uh, came in the door and we had a good run um, uh, for some time. But then uh, I think we've all been a bit disappointed uh, after, after Christmas and after New Year. We haven't really kicked on, you know, and, and it's like... Uh, after the, the FA Cup uh, lost to Liverpool, we, we ran out the steam a wee bit, you know, and, and uh, lost our way a wee bit in the league. So, uh, uh, probably I would say the last uh, eight, ten weeks, we haven't been too happy, you know. Uh, it's been a lot of injuries, uh, but we haven't played enough, uh, well enough either, you know, and, and uh, uh, we've conceded way, way too many goals and too many late goals. So, uh, in a way, I could be sitting here with 58 points and be recently, uh, you know, be quite happy. But we've been throwing away points right, left, and centre in extra time, and that's so frustrating. I, I, have you ever known anything like that in, in your coaching or, or, or playing career? That you know, so many late. I think it's seven times they've conceded goals uh, in, the, in the 90th minute or even later. No, I've checked it out as well. Yeah, seven times in the, I think it's in the last ten weeks. It's just ridiculous, and, and the, it is so frustrating. And I've, you know, I've, I've never experienced anything like it. You know, and, and it's, it's quite hard to, to put a finger on it. Why? Uh, it seems to be a mental thing now. You know, as, as, as soon as the board uh, comes up from the fourth uh, referee, the, 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 the players seem to get you know really nervous and, and, and shell shocked. So. Um, but it's down to you know, it's not really anything tactical, anything you can do on the yeah. training ground. You know, it's 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 just extra time, and it's the ti- it's the time when you really need to be focused, you know, and really concentrate. And we're making the wrong decisions, you know, and and we don't react to danger quick enough, and and that's really been you know in a way killing us, you know, when it comes to uh, throwing away points. Uh, Charlton at home uh, at the Macron Stadium, the manager uh, has repeatedly said, regardless. You know, people might say, "Oh, well, there's nothing to play for," but he wants a strong finish. As I guess you do as well. No, we do. We do. Uh, uh, we really, really want to obviously uh, uh, finish the season strongly. We, in a way, because we've been throwing away so many points, we want to give something back to the supporters as well. And it's a chance for the for the players, really, you know, to show us, you know, for for next season that they exactly. really want to be here, you know, and and want to be involved in obviously. In a wee bit of a turnaround that we are aiming for, you know. Well, obviously we want a really, really strong bolt on next season, you know. And, and as soon as the preseason starts, we are really, really going to try to obviously shape the team to play the football we want to play, you know, and try to get the, obviously some some players in as well, you know, to strengthen the squad, you know. They obviously going to be able to play the way we want to play. And, and the, uh, next season is obviously probably season where we going to be more judged. Uh, than we've been so far, you know, because obviously you inherit a, a team and a squad, and and they were in a really, really, you know, hard situation when we came in the door, you know. So it seems at least mathematically we're not really there yet, but you know, hopefully we will, and and if we win tomorrow, we will obviously be be, be safe, and and that's what we're aiming for, you know. And, and it's important though to you know try to save the home record as well in a way. I know we lost now at the weekend, and, and that was a shame, but that was the only. The second loss, you know, at home, you know, since we came in the door. So, uh, but it's important, you know, to try to really, really, you know, finish the season strong. Yeah. I think the manager has already told uh, everybody that you know three players have been offered contracts and new deals. There are many more whose contracts are out. Is there any news on other players or, uh, and what's it like? You know, I suggested this to uh, Neil Lennon uh, after the Norwich City game. Is it kind of the waiting game now when you're offered a deal as a player? You know, you've got to contemplate, and I suppose there's a bit of to and fro in, you know, uh, between now and the end of the season before you get definitive decisions on on who might be here and who might not be. Yeah, and, and we're probably going to be linked with a lot of players as well because yeah. that's something that goes on, you know, uh, exactly. uh, behind the uh, the four walls as well. You know, that we're looking into new players, you know, to see if we can find players that uh, that we're going to be able to sign and, and so on. You know, so so it's. You know, it's, it's a lot of hard work uh, that goes on, you know, all the time, uh, trying to, to uh, you know, find players that we think are, are good enough to, to strengthen the squad. And uh, it's the same situation, like you say, you know, we've got a lot of players that probably have contracts that's going to expire, you know, but that's 
that's something that goes on. There's you know talks between obviously the manager, the club, and the, and the, the players' agents. You know, so uh, obviously we know we know that you know who we want to keep, you know, and who's going to be really important for us, you know, in, in the future. And that's uh, you know the plan that we work after all the time. You know. And tell me what life is like being part of Neil Lennon's backroom staff. I can't imagine for one minute it's boring. <laughs> uh, no, something happens all the time. No, but I'm used. To, I've been uh, obviously I, I played together with Neil, you know, in the same team for uh, more or less. I think it was four seasons, you know, because I was there a wee bit, you know, a couple of years before he. This is at Celtic. Yes, yeah, at Celtic, yeah, yeah, you know, before yeah. he signed Celtic, and then obviously we were we've been working together up there, you know, uh, for many years, you know. It, uh, him as manager, me assistant manager, and now we're here. You know, so uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I know him quite well. You know, uh, and uh, uh, he's a very passionate man. You know, uh, and he knows he knows exactly what he wants to do and and uh, what he wants to do with uh, Bolton, what he wants to do with his uh, club. You know, and his team, and and uh, it's important for us, you know, to back him up as much as possible. You know, and. and uh, um, we are we are winners, both of us. You know, we're used to winning, and and uh, we need to obviously start installing the winning mentality at, at this club as well. You know, it's really important. But it's a great challenge for us. You know, to try to obviously turn around Bolton to a certain degree, which is a great club. You know, and and we're really enjoying being here. Just um, popping back to the sort of contract situation, Craig um, Davies obviously has been prone to quite a few injuries. Is that going to sort of sway your opinion of? What happens next uh, next season? It's no, it's definitely something we have need to uh, contemplate anyway. You know, it's it's important for us now in the future and, and for the club as well. You know that we have players that are going to be able to play. You know, thirty plus games because this is a tough, tough league. You know, uh, with forty six league games, uh, and and uh, uh, you know it's frustrating with Craig. Uh, for Craig, it's been very frustrating for us as well, you know, with, with all the injuries he's been packing, picking up, you know, the hamstring injuries, you know, and, and especially now he scored two goals uh, last week, you know, yeah. and, and uh, now he picks up uh, another hamstring injury. But uh, I'm quite sure, obviously, uh, you know, it's the talks are ongoing, uh, but with every player, I would say, we always look into the injury record as well, you know, because... Uh, we're not really in a situation anymore financially to just splash out money and uh, have players that are going to earn good money, good wages, and we're not going to be able to use them.